November 7, Thursday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them So to them he addressed this parable What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and say to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having ten coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and say to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord The Lost Sheep The religious and political leaders of Israel are compared to the shepherds and the people to the flock that they must tend. When they do not attend to their responsibilities, great harm befalls the sheep. Jesus is presented in the Gospels as the shepherd who looks after the sheep. When he sees the vast crowd, his heart is moved with pity for them, for they are like sheep without a shepherd. He shepherds the people by teaching them and multiplying loaves of bread to feed them. In the Gospel, Jesus tells the parable of the shepherd who leaves the ninety-nine and goes after the lost sheep rejoicing greatly when he finds it. In John, Jesus is good shepherd in two ways. He is willing to lay down his life for his sheep, and he knows his sheep. This knowledge involves love, which is the reason for his laying down his life for them. Today's shepherds are sent, not just to the lost, but also to the vulnerable. Let us think of the homeless, the addicted, the indigenous people, the elderly, who are increasingly isolated and abandoned, and many others. <laughs>